from Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starbright 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. Uh, today I have a Timu sponsored haul. Um, they let me choose uh, some items here, which were, I think there's five or six of them. Uh, I was supposed to get seven of them, but one of them I think either was out of stock or discontinued. So, um, this is what uh, they sent me. Uh, so, I am an affiliate and a influencer for Timu. I'll leave a link up here on the screen as well as in my as well as in my description box, along with my promotional code. And what that will do is if you're a new user or if you haven't used the app on your phone for the past 14 days, you can use that link just to download Timu onto your phone. And then um, you go, you have one hour to shop. So you quickly go and shop. And then when you go and check out, put my promotional code in there and it will give you 30% off uh, your order. Um, for returning users, I think you only get the 30% off though, but I think for new users, you'll get 30% off. And then once that is processed, you'll get a hundred dollar coupon bundle. Um, so I'm still waiting to find out about all that, but I believe that's how that works. If you are interested in becoming an influencer, I also have a link down below in my description, uh, that uh, you can click on and it'll explain the influencer program to you. And you can be just like all us other YouTubers out there, uh, reviewing products and, uh, showing off your diamond paintings or your haul, your Timu hauls or your other hauls, whatever you're hauling. But uh, for team, or actually for no, this would be strictly for Timu. Uh, but yeah, uh, but the YouTube part is for for anybody. But uh, if you want to be an influencer for Timu, yeah, this you would be reviewing Timu products. Um, how that works is uh, you create videos, then you submit your videos, and then you get. Um, you get so much seeding money and that seeding money then goes towards uh, a product campaign and today I picked a craft campaign and so I do have uh, some craft items here and of course diamond paintings because I absolutely love diamond painting um, but yeah so that's how that works now in order to get more seeding money I think you have to have uh, new users download downloading your um or using your link to download the app as well as returned users and i believe anybody can use that uh code that uh, afo24730 code um and you just put it up in your search and i think there's some kind of commission i'll get off of that too that will then go towards more seeding money so um i have more to spend on um products uh to my understanding right now is i get thirty dollars every uh either one or two months i think that's how it works um just for downloading my videos um so without you guys watching without you guys subscribing uh i wouldn't even be able to 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 do that because you need to have at least 100 views for shorts and 50 views for your videos so i just want to thank everybody that has watched my videos thank you for subscribing thank you for giving all my videos a thumbs up and uh and for commenting so yeah so there's some really good benefits about timu is they have of course it's free shipping which is really nice um, if you do need to return something you have 90 days to do so and that is uh, free as well. It's very easy. You go into your orders, uh, you hit the uh, return uh, button, you take a picture of the product and you uh, write up a little description as to uh, what you don't like about it or why you're returning it and then you submit it and 8 out of 10 times Timu will tell you to keep the product and give you your money back. So that could either be I think back on the way that you paid <coughs> or excuse my dog or um he's barking at the cat right now he uses little growls he's like come on he's supposed to be laying down and be quiet for mama um but anyway <laughs> uh so yeah so um 
either back on, on how you paid for it or towards credit towards your next purchase and usually I just get mine towards credit from my next purchase as I'm always ordering from Timu. Um, most of my diamond paintings do come from Timu and I have bought other products like they got clothing, they got electronics, they got um, kitchen stuff, they got uh, I mean, they, their stuff keeps growing. I, I noticed the other day, I was looking, they have like computer desks, they got computer chairs, uh, they have auto, like lots of automotive stuff, uh, they have stuff for your animals, um, and now they even have candy. Now, I don't know if I'd order the candy, but they got candy. So yeah, so they just keep expanding. Uh, other things that I like about Timu is they have a thing called price adjustments. So you can go back to your orders uh, for 30 days. And if a seller is selling something less than what you purchased it for, you click on that price adjustment and it will list, uh, show you your whole order and anything that is of uh, the seller selling less, you'll get the difference. And again, I just have mine going back to credit. I'm not sure if that can go back to cards or not, but uh, mine does go back to credits. Uh, Timu does have tons of uh, ways of uh, payments. So I think there's like five or six different ways. I uh, usually use PayPal and I've had no issues using PayPal. So that's really nice. Uh, the shipping is, is nice. They You can track your shipping right from when you process uh process your uh, payment or your products and it will tell you exactly what what uh, progression that is in and it will actually track it right up to your door and then you'll get an email or a, me a text message however you have it set up saying your package has arrived so uh, the shipping is awesome on that um, their customer service is really good if you have any questions don't hesitate to use customer service uh, sometimes I think it's automated but other times I do feel that you do get a live person uh, I even got $15 credit one time for talking to customer service so uh, regarding the uh, issue I was having so yeah so other than that I, I really like their products their prices are awesome um, I'd say they're about one-third the cost of other online stores that you would regularly uh, shop at and uh, they forever have sales going on they have 90% off sales they have 30% off sales they have lightning deals they have uh, spin the wheel deals so yeah T oh and Timu has games so if you play Fishland or Farmland I do have my codes also listed in my description yeah we could become friends and we can help each other feed our fishes and uh, water our our little uh, gardens or little crops or whatever you want to call them so so that's a thing too but uh, but yeah so like I said this is a sponsored haul so all these items here I did receive uh, for free so I didn't use any of my money for this um, stuff and uh, I will show you what I got so the first item if you were to purchase is two dollars and 49 cents and hmm what could these be they are stickers oh and before i show you uh why don't you comment and just see if you're right what kind of stickers do you think these are i'm gonna hide them <laughs> So, so just pause the video, go in in the comments and say, these are the stickers I think you got. All right. Are you ready? Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> so you got Piglet. Oh, he's so cute. Ah, oh, there's Pooh holding some bears and Tigger. And you have a sign that says Winnie the Pooh. And oh, Eeyore. Eeyore is my favorite. He goes to the side. Ah, uh, Pooh and a little, looking at a little bug. Oh, there's Tigger, the little bug. <laughs> that one's cute, Piglet. Pooh and Piglet reading. Oh, this one's going to the side. I'm a star. There's Tigger. Oh, Tigger doing his bouncy upside down thing. So yeah, and these are really good quality stickers. They're very, um... They're quite thick and yeah they look like they would they're really really nice like they're not flimsy at all or anything so very nice stickers 
<laughs> I don't think Tigger likes the honey. <laughs> His, his paws, his paws full of it, and he's like, "Oh yuck!" And there's poo. <laughs> I got a ladybug on his face. <laughs> oh, it's so so cute. So you get fifty of these stickers, and again, that was two dollars and forty nine cents. Oh, look at this one! Great friends. Absolutely, I have some great friends. Oh, my YouTube -y world. Honey. So, yeah, really, really nice little stickers. Hello, Summer. Nice to meet you. Oh, there's another Eeyore. Oh, there's Rabbit. Oh, another little Eeyore. Eeyore and the gang. Another Eeyore. So yeah, really, really cute. I like these. And last but not least, you got another Eeyore. So yeah, really good price. And like I said, really, really nice stickers. Very good quality stickers. So if you're looking for stickers on Timu, they have tons and tons of different ones. So, and for a really, really, like I said, good price. At least I think they're a really good price and very good quality too. And those are my stickers. Then I just got uh, these little um, two-piece uh, 925 sterling silver extended chains. Uh, of course, they're just to extend some necklaces I have. They are very, it's very thin. As you can see, it's just a little... You know, just a little chain, but it will help to extend some of the necklaces that are just a little bit, I think, too, not long enough. They're a little bit too short. But they are, like I said, sterling silver, which is nice. And I should say sterling, sterling silver on here. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it says 925, so that's good. And that again was, uh, this one was $3.49 for two of them. So that was a good price as well. And then I picked up this container for, uh, it says seven cents, um, is what uh, Timu's price was. So again, this is really good for my, when I do my small, small projects or my small paintings. Uh, 20 by 20 but I mean you could use these containers for almost anything you could put sets of earrings in, like small earrings in here if you want or different color beads or whatever but they're really really nice they are attached by four there's 28 containers in here um, but so they open up like this well see if I can open it that one was stuck so so yeah, so these, like I said, this is really good if you're diamond painting and doing the smaller paintings. And, uh, and I'll show you why uh, I suggest that you use these for the smaller ones. Usually a small canvas only takes me like an evening or something to do, uh, depending on how much color blocking and stuff is in the painting. But in general, it usually only takes uh, not very many hours. And so... So yeah, so this here is just a little um, Highlander calf, yeah, just adorable, so of course, I mean it's got horns, so I presume that's a male, but it's usually males have the horns, but uh, anyways, it has a little flower wreath on its head, a little flowers here. When you're doing 20 by 20 uh, paintings, just make sure that there's not too much going on or everything kind of gets blurred together. Just make sure there's like one um, item that's the main uh, character on your painting. For example, this uh, cow is just going to, it will probably turn out really good because it's just a cow with a few little flowers here and there. Um, but you don't want a really, really busy background. But this one has 15 colors and it is all letters and they're not alphabetical. Uh, this one is got a number here. So... The drills also have numbers. 
So this, this is the drills here. And you can see here, there's a number there. See that number there? And then it corresponds to this number here. So, so yeah. So we'll open up this. Usually I don't open these drills, but I will if you're new to diamond painting. Your kit come, is going to come like this. So, of course, wrapped in here. And you get your diamonds, you get a tray, you get a pen, you get your wax, and you get your painting. So, what you want to do is you open this up. And this is the tray. I don't care for this tray, to be honest with you. I don't like this tray. It's very flimsy. Uh, the diamonds can spill out very easily when you're shaking them to straighten them out. And uh, so this is the tray that I use here. It is, of course, much bigger as you can see the difference in size. And it has really nice sides to it. And when you're shaking your diamonds, they're not going to fly all over the place. They'll stay nicely in here. And it has a really nice bottom and it lines up really nice. And uh, so if you are multi-placing, it just makes it easier. I mostly do single. Uh, placements but it still lines your diamonds up really nice to grab from your pen and uh, yeah so I like I, I like the size and I got this off Timu for like 211 I think it was so really really good price for their trays as well but so what you do is you have your pen here so this is the pen um, you can get fancier pens like this one here it comes off a of Timu too it had a whole bunch of different ends that came with it um, I just use this one for straightening it is a screw on one which is really nice and uh, as you can see it's nice and tight so when you're straightening your uh, diamonds on your painting it's not going to be you're not going to have one that's going to be moving all around I noticed the ones that you just push in does have movement and then these screw ones are really really nice because there's no movement at all but if you're just starting this is all you need is just a pen like this and then you have your piece of little wax you have to make sure you peel it off like so and then you just stick your pen in your wax like this and you will see right there See the wax there in the pen hopefully you can see it Let's see if I can get it in the camera first of all there you go <laughs> and there it is and so and then that's all you need to pick up your diamonds with and so I am left-handed so then your diamonds come in a tray or in a train I call this a train because they're all joined together and what you do is these are all numbered, so this is number 15. So you look on your painting here. And so here's number 15 and N. So the N is the one that's going to be on your painting. So then you find the ends and you put these diamonds on the ends. So you can either tear along here, I usually cut. And then you can cut open your bag here to get the uh, diamonds out, of course. And that's where these trays come in so handy. So you can put just masking tape on the top and then you can label either 1 to through 15 or you can go by symbol and that's how I do it. I like to paint by symbol and so I would put this, the letters on here and then so when I know that oh N I don't have to look at oh yeah number 15 is N. Like I don't have to look at the table anymore. I can just look at here as N and look at the ends in here. So that's just how I like to do it. Not to say that's right, but uh, you might like to do it differently. And uh, that's fine too. Anyway, so these are the colors that come in this little kit here. Now that I have it all twisted up. <laughs> so you can just see this one is a nice... Uh, grape uh, color and then you got your grays and you got a brown there and then you got a couple pinks and the blues and some more pinks some blues and browns so yeah so that's what comes in your kit So 
like I say, if you're thinking of diamond painting, something that you you know wanted to try, like I said, a small picture like this would be perfect to, to start out with, um, just to see if you like it. And don't go and spend you know a lot of money on different things because you don't need it. You can just very simply pick up, like I said, a small little container like this, which was uh, seven cents, and then uh, that tray that I showed you, which was like two dollars and eleven cents. And this painting was two dollars and forty nine cents. For so for under seven dollars, you could buy a whole, whole, you know, kit and caboodle <laughs> of uh, and be very comfortable with uh, diamond painting, and not having to worry that your drills are going to fly all over the place or get lost or anything, because uh, you don't want that. So yeah, so that's the first one. I won't put that back in there. I'll just move this out of the way. So this is what comes in your second one. Same thing. You get just a basic uh, kit. This is what these are called. Little kits here. And then you get your diamonds. And this one is again of a little Jersey cow. He's so cute. Um, he has 14 colors. Again, 20 by 20, and they are all round. Uh, these smaller paintings that you get from Timu are all round. I don't think I've ever seen a square uh, 20 by 20 on Timu. Not to say there isn't any, but I just haven't seen any. But it's just a cute little cow with the sunflowers. And uh, just really, really cute. Drill fill is really nice on this one. And it is a shiny got little sparkles throughout the canvas which is nice it is alphabetically ordered as well as numerical so that's nice so it's one through seven and then uh, eight oh sorry one through eight and then a through H so yeah he's just really really cute and then these are the colors that came with him Let's see if I can open this one up So, there's some white and some browns and some peach colored ones. And these are labeled the same. You'll see they have like one, two, three. This one too has the number here that matches this number here. So we're all good. Just in case you put your drills somewhere else, then you do your paintings. So, really, really nice colors there. Oh, there's a uh, hitchhiker in that one. And some more hitchhikers in this one. <laughs> hmm. So no blacks, which is funny. So what I might do is I might change the... Um, me personally, I'll probably change the C in this one. Because it is a dark brown. I think I will change him to black. So he's a black. So he looks like a Jersey cow. And... Uh, and yeah, so I'll probably change that. But other than that, I think he's going to turn out really, really nice. I absolutely love sunflowers. And I love little cows. I think they're just so cute. Timo has so many cute diamond paintings out there. It's just uh, just awesome. All the uh, ones that they, can, that they come up with. So many cute ones. Again, uh, let's see. See how sticky this one is. This one's nice and sticky. This one was a dollar four for this painting here. So yeah. And then this one here, this one is a 30 by 30, so it's a little bit bigger. Again, it's another cow. It's a uh, Highlander calf. You can tell by his messy hair. And he's in a little tub here. Looks like uh, he's gonna have a bath, or he jumped in the jumped in the pail. <laughs> Just really cute. His little snout and his eyes and his little horns. Again, you got some flowers that surround him. Got a cowboy hat. You got cowboy boots there. So, so yeah, really, really nice. 
This one has 18 colors and it's all letters and not uh, numer or not in alphabetical order, but that's all right. So yeah, again, this is a sparkly canvas, which is nice. I love the sparkly canvases. Really, really nice drill fill there. A lot of color blocking, which is nice. So this one probably won't take very long to do with all the color blocking. And that's when you, most people do their multi-placements is when you have color blocking. Um, you can, I think, get up to, what, 10? You can do 10 at a time, 10 diamonds at a time. I've only ever tried three at a time, so. <laughs> but, yeah. And then these are the diamonds that came with this painting. Now, let's see how sticky this one is. Might as well check. Nice and sticky. Very, very nice. So again, this one has 18 colors. So you're going to have two packages of white because there's a lot of white in this uh, painting. Diamonds look absolutely beautiful. They're nice and sparkly, which I really, really like. So yeah, of course you got the browns. Lots of different color browns in this one. You got the peaches colors, and then you got your beautiful orange and your yellows. And then you got your grays. You got kind of like a burgundy color, and then a black it looks like. Or a very dark blue maybe, but yeah. So those are the colors. Very, very nice. I think it's probably black. Yeah, 310. It's black. So, very nice diamonds. I don't see any... I mean, like I said, they're very nice and shiny. And I don't see any bad just glancing at them. They all look very nice. So, so awesome. And again, this number here coincides with this one. So if you do store your painting somewhere else, then at least you know that your diamonds are easy to find because you just look at this code to match that number. Or this number to match that number or whatever. It says number, but it's KA856. So I call it a code. And that's it. That was my sponsored haul. So... So yeah, so thank you Timu for um, letting me pick out this crafting campaign. Um, I enjoyed uh, showing you guys what Timu has to offer. Again, thank you to all my subscribers and to, all my, to everybody out there that has watched my uh, videos, even if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> and if you haven't, yeah, what's stopping you? Just go over there, hit that subscribe button. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, and I love to read your comments, so please, please comment. Um, but that's it. Again, uh, thank you so much for watching. And, uh, oh, and if you were in any of the storms today, um, I was watching uh, on the TV, and I noticed that there were a lot of storms happening. So my prayers go out to each and every one of you. And again, um, so I'm taping this Tuesday night, and... There's a lot of storms going on right now as well, so hope everybody stayed safe and uh, took the alert seriously and no one was injured. Um, so, so yeah, so I just wanted to say that as well as uh, prayers go to Taiwan. They had an awful earthquake over there and uh, buildings collapsed and so forth, so prayers go to them. But uh, anyway, I will catch you on the next one. God's richest blessings. See ya.